And our correspondent Ira Spitzer's in Berlin. I asked him what the reaction had been to the attack. Well, as you can imagine, the country is uh, very much in shock right now and also uh, in mourning. Uh, there has not been this sort of large-scale attack in Germany in many, uh, many years. Uh, there have been several attempted acts of terrorism, if this indeed proves to be an act of terrorism, but nothing uh, to this scale. This is, uh, of course, similar to what we saw in neighboring France earlier in the year when a uh, truck driver intentionally drove through the crowd in the town of Nice, in that case killing more than 80 people. So uh, Germans had have so far been spared uh, this sort of thing, but that may have changed earlier tonight here in Berlin. Ira, has there been much reaction from politicians or people in authority to this incident? Well, here domestically in Germany, there has been a push from local officials to withhold judgment on to whether we can call this an attack. In fact, the interior minister, uh, Thomas de Maziere, uh, did say he did not want to use the word attack while at the same time saying that uh, many signs pointed to such a thing. So kind of a fine line here, at least tonight, uh, until more information comes out. However, we've seen some response uh, from the United States. The uh, President Barack Obama's White House uh, made a statement in which they referenced uh, that this was an act of terror, a deliberate act, uh, is what they said. And so uh, that is that is definitely something to consider in, in sort of trying to piece together what happened here. Also, President-elect Donald Trump uh, referencing this attack as well. So uh, we've seen a reaction around the, around the world to the events in Berlin, and indeed all eyes are on Berlin right now to, to see if this could be the next uh, the next epicenter for an act of terror. And you know what's security normally like there in Berlin, and has there been any change of that in the immediate aftermath? Well, the city is uh, that area is certainly secure at the moment. Uh, police have asked people to stay off the street as they try and, uh, for one, deal with the injured people at that Christmas market and. Uh, two, it is uh, it is an an active crime scene, uh, so they are they have secured that area, and they've also asked people uh, to stay off the street generally here. Uh, and the thing about the Christmas markets here in these kind of large public spaces is, uh, it does seem very difficult to completely prevent something like this from happening. There 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 is a visible presence, police presence at. Germany's Christmas markets at this particular Christmas market, but with so many, uh, with so many different roads to access the crowds, uh, if somebody really wants to commit some this this sort of thing, it seems very difficult to stop them, which is uh, which is terrifying, of course, to many people. That's our correspondent Iris Spitzer in Germany.